Hi friends, I'm Madhav Top from Easy Approach and it's the third video of Flutter video series. In this video, I'm gonna talk about the Flutter project structure and we'll run our first application. So let's start from the Flutter project structure. Here you can see the project that we have created in the last video. If we click here, you can see all the files and folders that actually included in your project. We can start from this Android uh, folder because we can skip these two folders. These are not the folders that we that we are usually working on and we don't have to worry about. So we can start from this Android folder. So this is actually the folder where all the native files and, and folders of Android are actually saved. And when we run our application on Android, so the Flutter code which is here is injected in this Android uh, code. And it is the reason at because of this we can run our uh, our project on Android. So these are all the files and folders that uh, actually the native files and folders of Android. So if we if you have already worked on Android, so you have you would have idea of these uh, all the files and folders. Now we can go on this build folders. This build folder is actually contain all the build file uh, of your Flutter uh, project. Whenever we create our, uh, whenever we run our file or build our project, all the files will be automatically safe in this uh, folder, and we don't have to worry about this. Now, this iOS is same like Android. It includes or contains all the native files and folders of iOS, and our code is injected in this iOS so that we can run our application on iOS. Now, this is the very important folder where we'll be spending most of the time because this lib contain all the dart files and here we have uh, here we normally uh, create all the screens and all the models and all the data models everything we do in this folder so we'll be working or spending most of the time in this lib folder you can skip this task as well because it's not the folder that we'll be working on now this web folder is actually to our app to run our application on the web so you might see this folder in your uh, Android Studio, but it's actually for uh, uh, for uh, to give the support uh, of web to our Flutter application. Now there are so many files as well, but the most important file uh, is this pubspec.yaml file. So this is the file where we normally add dependencies. Here you can see uh, if if I zoom out a bit, here you can see the dependencies here. So whenever uh, we include some dependency, so we'll be doing, uh, we'll be adding dependencies in this pubspec.yaml file. And it is also used to define assets, like if we want to add images or audio in our application, so we need to define these assets, those assets here. And to define fonts, we need to, uh, to actually use fonts, we need to define here at first. So this is, actually from the project structure so this pub spec is very important and we'll be doing all the work in this lib folder so now we can run our first flutter application it's not the code that we have done it's the auto generated code that's actually a default application uh, of flutter but uh, uh, in the next video we'll make our first own application actually that we'll uh, make ourselves now we can run this application it would take some time because whenever you run your application for the first time it takes time but as you uh, run it first time then you'll be able to see the changes abruptly and quickly now we can see our application is successfully running is the default application from flutter and it's actually included a counter and here you have button and on clicking the button you can see the value uh, increasing so this is the default application in the next video we'll make our first application and we'll write the code by ourselves so uh, stay tuned and in the next video we'll make our first application so that's all from the project structure and running the first application thank you